Okay, today's project was to unwrap her for the first time of the year. I just took the tarp off. Then I installed this mast step, or tabernacle rather, which is nothing more than a hinge, which is supposed to make raising the mast much easier than just trying to jam it down through that hole and hoping you don't go down through the deck and you land on that mast step down there. But what I still have to do yet is I have to find a clevis that's long enough to go through there. I have two bolts sticking in there now, but after rethinking it, I think I want to use a clevis pin. If I ever want to take it out, it'd be much easier. And uh, this was amazingly simple. And I, I, some people use a hacksaw. I just put it on my chop box. And uh, I was able to do it fairly easily. And the piece I had left over was right there. Inch and a half. Which, when you come up here, you can see about where it came from, you know what I mean? But, uh, anyway, and it's not something I can run down the road with, you know what I mean? Because look how far that sticks out, out the back. But I can still use my boom crutch in the back and my yoke in the, on the front that I made. I think I'll make a little nicer one this year. This was just a quick one at the end of the season. I picked this boat up last year. Still have, I still guess I still gotta clean the lines up and clean the boat up and give her another power wash and a wax and another coat of teak oil on the on the teak. I think about my thwarts here. They look like they've spread a little bit over the years. This is a 66. And uh Oh yeah, another thing I gotta do is I gotta put my motor back together, see if that runs, because that'd be nice to have to get to the bridge. Another nice thing about having this is I can put this in the water like this, run down by motor to the bridge. Once I get to the bridge, flip the mast up, rigger, and there we go. I want to come back, you know, of course, sail back to the bridge. Then put her under power. Back to the uh, ramp. But, uh, 66 O'Day DS1. Pretty much original condition. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub sub uh, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. Hey, how you doing today? This is the mast step, or well, tabernacle, which is a hinge for my mast. You see my mast right there? I cut it with uh, a little Hitachi cut off saw, so I get a nice straight cut. You see right there? That's what the inside of the mast looked like, and there's not really a whole bunch of slag or over cut or anything like that, and it's way nicer than I could ever do with a hacksaw. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta, compensate for an inch and a half for the width of this okay and I cut mine the instructions say to cut it 32 and a half to 34 well, I wanted mine just a little bit lower so I cut mine at uh, 31 and a half 33 okay just how I wanted to do it Gotta cut out. Sorry, my fingers keep going in through. So I gotta cut out about another inch and a half right there. Why I did it is because I, I had to take off my uh, these on the side, and I didn't want to have an extra hole, and that's where I put it. And I had plenty of clearance. I don't run a boom bang, which maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, but I think the 32 and a half to 34 compensated for where you would put the boom bang you still had enough room for the lower uh, clamp there but that's how I'm going to do mine and it got, gave me a nice cut and uh, you can see there I'll bet you it goes right in oh yeah that will look at that and then 
when I put it in there. I can't turn it right now because I have the stays and everything on the front. But uh, you get a quarter 20 bolt there, quarter 20 bolt there, and one coming from the front. You're looking at it from the back angle now. And then the bottom one, of course, goes through there. And then you, I'm going to run a, another bolt through the bottom to where the mast step goes on the, on the keel mount. But, uh, all right, let me cut this. Get this here, you wanna, you wanna make sure you set it up and you cut on the right side of the line. All that good jazz, all right? So, I'll get back to you. Yep, you want it upside down? I'm upside down, now there you go, right there again, sorry for that. Okay, right now you can see that I just have it dry fit. I didn't do any filing on it or anything. Filing will just make it fit together and be just a little nicer, clean up the edges and such. You know, they're a little sharp. But then I'm gonna be drilling a 1364 hole here, here, over here, and over here also. And I wanna make sure that I measure them nicely so they fit right in the center meat, get good meat, get good center, get everything goes together real nice. Okay. And uh, I'll go from there. Okay, what I've done is you can see where I've drawn my three holes and they go through. I've, I've used sleeve retainer, so it's not gonna come out real easy right now. But now I have to use my quarter 20 tap there's what I use for center punch, hammer marked and center punched my openings. And now I'm gonna drill them and install the, the uh, screws. All right. So what you do is you're first gonna drop a little drop of oil in there. You probably really don't have to because it's aluminum to aluminum, but uh, that's what you want to do, and then you want to just begin to, this is going to be doing this on one hand and really shouldn't be. But you get the idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to push that in, I'm going to do all three holes, and I'll get back to you. I've done my other two holes, and I'm just taking this out now. See how nice it moves? Take this apart, clean everything up, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, there's my three screws. Now I've drilled a pilot hole in the bottom for my through bolt, and I'm about to go inside the boat. You see it way up there by the life jacket, and uh, I'll be installing the bottom what well, it's gonna hold. Now you can see that there's been little repairs here. This boat has a couple stories. Okay. Now I gotta jump in there and line it up and do that. But uh, yeah, this boat tried to kill the original owner or the original owner tried to sink it. I'm not sure which, but he did a pretty nice job on it. Sometime I'll have to tell you the story. Okay, here we are on the inside, down on the, uh, this is the mast step. I've drilled and uh, I've tapped a couple quarter 20s in here. But what I've decided to do, so I got one around the other side there, sir. What I've decided to do is uh, just drill it a little bit bigger and run a clevis pin through here in case I wanna make it a little bit more portable. The only reason it's I'm having this in here is for when you raise the mast, when you step the mast, it could tend on pulling this up in the up direction when, you know, with the, as it uses you as kind of like a fulcrum with the weight of the mask on the other end, mast on the other end, excuse me. Kind of cramped in here, all doubled up, it's a little hard to talk, it's about 100 degrees. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, 
you get the idea. I'll just put a clevis pin, th pin through there and uh, that'll take care of that. And that'll make it so that if I ever want to take this out for any reason, you know, when I'm do a little camping or whatever in here, I'm pretty big for this uh, little cutty. But uh, <laughs> there it is sticking out of the roof of the cutty as I try to climb out of here. Okay. And I just took the uh, cover off the boat today. There's the uh, crutch for the boom in the back. And I also use that as a mast crutch. And I, you can see I have a little fiberglass work to do here. I got to put the four stays on and the, uh, I got to figure out what I got to do with my fiberglass here, where exactly I want this to be centered at. As you can see, this is the mass step installed. And you can see that there's a fair amount of movement in there, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fiberglass work. But before, I just wanted to get this thing up and uh, installed so I could see what I had to do. As you can see, now, this is supposed to make the raising much easier. Whereas you could grab a hold of the four stay run up on the front of there and start pulling and this will raise up where I guess you could do it with the weightlifter stance from where I am right now and lift it right up like that but uh one way at least I don't have to worry about jamming this through that little hole and possibly through the bottom of the boat while I'm trying to sit in the water so it should be easier hey that's how you put a tabernacle on your O'Day DS-1. All right, and it does stick out the back so you can't run down the road like this. So I am still gonna have to utilize my crutch in the front and my crutch in the back when traveling. But uh, if you're camping, it might be nice well, if you're camping, your mast is up, right? But, uh, alrighty. Thanks a lot for watching.